So I've placed an image into the file. I'll go through that again, file place. I have the image that I wanna use. I'm gonna embed the image. So just to make sure it stays. And just like in the activities, I'm gonna double click on the layer and I'm gonna make this one a template and click okay, make a new layer. And I'm gonna work with the brush tool. So the brush tool is a little different from the pen tool, but it allows you to draw. So I'm gonna use the brush tool to kind of draw over some of the shapes that I have here. Now, because these are open paths, they, I won't be able to fill them, but I could get some really interesting line work from using the brush tool. So this is my hydrangea. I'm just using the brush tool and I'm using it with a mouse. And I'm using a white brush uh, stroke, but again, I can go ahead and change that later. So I'm just drawing. And of course, you'll go slower <laughs> and take your time. And I'll go ahead and change these now, just so that you can see it. Command minus sign to zoom out. And yes, I chose a very difficult object because, you know, it's, it's fun sometimes to give it a little challenge. And I wanted to make sure I had enough information and enough lines to show you how this is done. So I'm just going over the image. And I'll go ahead and finish that one. I'll unlock. So now I have just a set of lines. And I can rotate this to however I see fit. I can also go in with that same brush tool and change individual sections of lines. So I can grab all of these lines. I can go to the property menu, the brush options pops up here where you can change the brush roundness and you can preview. You can change the brush size. within that space and have some really interesting different depictions. So that's how you can change the stroke options. You can open the library and be use this very sparingly, but you have a whole nother set of brushes in this. So we have vector packs of brushes, bristle brushes, things like that. So you can change the way these lines look after drawing them, which is what I recommend doing is to always make the lines first and then make adjustments. So now I have all of these different ways. Um, again, if you just open up 
the menu, you have a few options here to open up more. You always hit the brushes library menus, and then that's what will open up different types of brushes for you. So you can have some really beautiful uses of brushes and strokes as you move forward. So play with the brush tool. <laughs> 